हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन फंक्शन ऑफ कंसोलिडेटेड डेटा ऑप्शन ऑफ ओपन ऑफिस कैल्क एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ यूनिट टू इलेक्ट्रॉनिक स्प्रेडशीट नाउ जस्ट टू एक्सप्लेन द फंक्शन ऑफ दिस कंसोलिडेटेड डेटा ऑप्शन आई एम गोइंग टू यूज हेयर थ्री शीट्स ऑफ दिस ओपन ऑफिस कैल्क डॉक्यूमेंट सो हेयर इन द शीट वन आई हैव ऑलरेडी सम डेटा एज वेल एज इन द शीट टू आल्सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी एंटर्ड सम डेटा एंड इन द शीट थ्री नथिंग इज देयर एक्सेप्ट वन हेडिंग सो here what i'm going to do that as in the sheet 1 you can notice that i have entered details of transactions of few people of the january month so here as you can see that in the month of january this ajay person has withdrawn 10000 rupees and this person deposited 50000 rupees so in this manner here i have entered all the transactions performed by seven people in the january month now in the same manner in the february month all the transactions performed by seven people i have recorded in the sheet 2 and here most of the names are common in both the two sheets sheet 1 and sheet 2 but one name is different in both the two so here in the sheet 2 you are getting a look but in the sheet 1 that name is not available but here one other name we are getting that is of manoj now what i want to do here that in my sheet 3 i want to keep here the data and in the data i will get the information of how much amount these people have withdrawn and deposited in last two months so that data i want in my sheet 3 for example as in the month of january this ajay person withdrew 10000 rupees and in the february this person withdrew 7000 rupees so overall amount that he withdrew in these two months is 10000 plus 7000 is 17000 so here in the sheet 3 i want 17000 as a total withdraw done by ajay in 2 months in the same manner i want the same thing for deposit also as well as for all the people whose data is available in sheet 1 and sheet 2 so for this purpose i am going to use here consolidated data so now how to use a consolidated data that i am going to show you so here i am on the sheet 3 as i want result here on my this sheet and thereafter i am just clicking on the data type of the menu bar now as i am clicking on the data type of the menu bar i am getting here one menu and in this menu i have to click on consolidate option now as i clicked on the consolidate option here i am getting consolidate window now in the consolidated window first option that is available here is a function and as i am clicking on this drop down here you are able to see list of functions available in this drop down list as i am going to perform here addition of the data that is available in sheet 1 and sheet 2 so that's why i have to select some function but as per the requirement you may use other functions also those are available in this drop down list after that next one is consolidated ranges first of all i am going to clean this consolidated ranges now so whenever you want to clear this consolidated ranges area so just select all the entries those are available here and there are use this delete tab so all the entries those are available in the consolidated ranges area will get clear now after that next one is source data ranges now here we have to select one by one group of all the cells that actually are containing our data so here as our data is available in sheet 1 and sheet 2 so one by one we have to select all the cells those are available in sheet 1 and sheet 2 and containing our data so how that can be done so for that we have to click on this shrink option and as i'm clicking on this shrink option here i have to move to sheet 1 by using this sheet 1 tab and thereafter i am going to select all the cells containing my data so these all cells are selected and after that i am just going to click on this shrink option again and after that now this cell address is to be shifted from here to consolidated ranges so that can be done by using add option now after that now next data is available in the sheet 2 so i am going to use again this shrink option now moving to the sheet 2 by using this sheet 2 tab and then after selecting all the cells those are available in sheet 2 and containing the data and then after again shrink option and then add so here now in the consolidated ranges we have mentioned all the cell addresses those are containing our data now after that next one is copy result to now in the copy result to where actually we want our result so as i want the result of addition in sheet 3 so that's why i have to first of all click on this copy result to and here and after that i have to select the cell that will be in the top left corner so as this cell will be in the top left corner so this is selected and after that here we are getting one more tab that is the more so i am going to use this option more 
now here in the mode we are getting two options one is consolidated pie and second is options now first of all consolidated pie and here we have to check these two check boxes uh, row labels and column labels now what are row labels and column labels i'm just going to show you this so here as you can see that these are the rows second row third row fourth row and here in the second row uh, name is the label of this row as is the label of this third row in the same manner when i'm talking about the column labels so here in this first column this name is the first column label second is the withdraw and deposit is the third column label so if we want these labels in our result also so that can be done by using row labels and column labels and these options will be used during the calculation also so this is a purpose of uh, just using these two options row labels and column labels after that one other option is here linked to source data now after performing all the calculations after getting the result if we are doing some changes in our source data and if we want to reflect those changes in the result also so that will be possible by using this link to source data now for example right now amount that this person withdrew in the month of january is 10000 and in february 7000 so in the result i will get 17000 but later on i want to change this from 7000 to 10000 So here ten thousand and here will be ten thousand. So our result will automatically get changed to twenty thousand. So for that purpose, we have to use this link to source data. And after that, just click on OK option. So I'm just clicking on the OK option. And now here you can see we are getting the result. And uh, I'm just going to increase the font size so this will be more clear and visible to you. So here now you can see I consider the example of Ajay. So ten thousand plus seven thousand, we are getting seventy thousand. Seventy thousand rupees he withdrew in. Two months and sixty thousand plus fifty thousand one lakh ten thousand so one lakh ten thousand rupees he deposited in two months. So here you can see the result of this, and we are getting all the row labels and column labels also. Now I'm just going to show you the use of that last option link to source data. So now what I'm going to do here that I'm just going to change withdrawal amount of Ajay from ten thousand to fifteen thousand. So here fifteen thousand in the month of January and seven thousand in the month of February. So fifteen thousand plus seven thousand will be what twenty two thousand. So in the result now I am getting automatically here twenty two thousand. So that is the use of that option link to source data. So here now you have seen the use of consolidated data option of Open Office Cal. So here this first topic of Unit Two got over. So this video I am going to end here. And next topic of the Unit Two will be covered in next video.